Hey everybody, Damor Sarah again, today with a review of the D Arts Mega Man X by Bondi, or also Rockman X as he is known in Japan. Starting off with the box, of course. It's very, it's very cool box. It's got the X motif there. There you can see the Capcom sticker. Side views. Not not really sure if you can really do that pose and still be able to get him to stand up, but that's cool nonetheless. And the back. Some statistics there like says head is equipped with broad range eye camera ultra sensitive voice recognition system voice generation system made by Mokuo Incorporated and more stuff down there pretty cool yeah cool box but Onto the figure itself. <clears throat> very, very cool figure. Um, obviously, there's not a whole lot of details to speak of, but it's Mega Man, so it's a pretty simple design, anyways. Got some thingies there ears I guess also under his feet you got some detail there it's about all there is to really speak of articulation wise there's a whole lot of it can move his elbow his sh shoulders head the waist the legs as well as the feet so you can put this guy in a lot of poses for sure although he doesn't come with a stand or anything so if you want to do like super action poses you're probably not gonna have too much luck getting him to stay upwards but he does have big feet, so shouldn't really have too much trouble standing him up. Accessories. Uh, he comes with two other faces. Here's one where he's gritting his teeth and a yelling face. And some extra hands. Open hand and some fists. And there's this thing, which is a replaceable part for his uh, X-Buster, I believe it's called. And there's this, which is a replaceable bit in case you want to replace his cannon and just have a hand there. Not sure why you really want to, but the option is there. And then there is these shots, these regular shots, three of them going at once, and then the charge shot, which is pretty cool looking. There is an issue with that, though. We'll get to that later. Uh, in order to change the face, you have to pull this thing off, which is kind of difficult. See if I can do it here. Ouch. First couple of times I had to use a butter knife to pry it off. And then you just pull this face off. And... 
put another face on and then replace this part. Like so. Okay. And let's see. Say to put on one of his shooting thingy deals. Put this piece on and then just put it on like that. Also, you can take this part off if you want to and just display it like that. And these two can be switched around like this. So you can switch it like that. Although I kind of prefer it the other way, where it's more bunched together, it looks cooler, like so. But yeah, there's that. And yeah, then of course, if you want to have them with just a hand there, you just kind of pull this off somehow, like that I guess, and put this on somehow, there, got to work somehow, anyways, but, now, for the charge shot, Put it on like so, but here's the problem with it. It is extremely, extremely heavy. So you're gonna have some trouble getting him to stand with it. Although, I don't seem to be having too much trouble right now. But if you want him to have it like shooting straight out like that, he's gonna fall over so yeah it's pretty heavy Let's see if I can balance them out no I'm not really having any luck see it looks really cool but it's just so heavy you can't hold it up very well Oh, there, I got him to balance somehow. See how long that lasts. But, anyways, that's about it for this re-review. Re it's a really cool little figure, and they'll have Zero coming out pretty soon as well, so, yeah. If you like Mega Man, then there should be, then you should really uh, go out and get this one. But, anyways, this is Damor Sayer, and see you next time.